All right, guys, Rich here from the RC Network, and this is going to be an unboxing and a quick use of the high-tech X1 Touch multi-charger. Now, here at the RC Network, I've definitely been known for uh, testing out lots of different chargers that are on the market, and basically trying to find the best one out there. Now, I, I definitely like uh, some of the new technology that's hitting uh, some of the uh, companies that are making these chargers, and I really like the touch screen interface. Now, touch screen is definitely in lots of people's lives these days with smartphones and tablets and all sorts of different things out there. Um, you know, it just makes sense to put it onto a charger as well and give us a really cool interface to charge our batteries. So, um, this uh, charger is one of Hitech's newest chargers on the market. It is a 55 watt charger. It is AC DC, so you can plug it in your wall or hook it up to a car battery or a power supply to power it. So um, I want to go ahead and unbox this thing. Let's take a look at what you get inside the box. And then the latter part of this video, we're going to actually plug it in and kind of go through some of the menus and uh, charge your battery. So uh, stay tuned for that. So, really quick on the box here. Um, as far as what batteries it'll charge, of course, uh, lithium polymer, that's probably the, the best known in the RC community. It'll also do uh, life batteries, lithium ion, NICAD, nickel metal hydrate for some of the RTR users out there, and then lead batteries. So, um, you know, pretty much it'll do every battery that's pretty much known to man. So, uh, uh, X1, meaning that it is a one-port charger, so you're only able to charge one battery at a time, which for most of us, that's that's enough. So um, especially for the, the you know, avid hobbyist that's, you know, pretty much out there just charging his batteries, this will definitely do a good job. So 3.2-inch color touch screen, so that is definitely cool. That's why I picked it up. Um, let's flip it over here to the back side and upside down. And just goes over some more of its features. It is 100 to 240 volt compatible, so you can use this overseas uh, as long as you have the right cord to plug it into your wall. So, um, as far as the DC input, 11 to 18 volts, 55 watt charger, like I said earlier, and uh, pretty much it'll do all the different cells out there. So, uh, lithium polymer, it'll go one to six cells and then nickel metal hydride up to a 15 cell, which that's that's just huge. So um, let's go ahead and unbox this thing. Let's see what we get inside the box here. Got a little safety little class there and lifts right open. Nice box, I gotta definitely admit that. Um, I'm, I'm definitely a box guy. I like to see that manufacturers put some thought into these things. And you know, not only that, I'm gonna be able to use this for actually storage later on down the line. Looks like it has a nice, um, you know, safe compartment for the charger. Little lift out lid right there. We have our owner's manual, which uh, gives us lots of information here. Kind of goes over, um, you know, definitely the warnings. And, and you know, if you're a first time uh, LiPo user, definitely read those things. Um, even if you're not, you know, refresh your memory on some of the rules and, uh, you know, do's and don'ts of charging. So it goes over all of the, you know, what's this, what's that. On back towards the back where it goes through some of the features, warning, safety notes, and then on through uh, some of the uh, the user interface and, you know, what screen goes to what screen. So pretty cool. Uh, next thing here, we get a balancer board, and this is going to be for pretty much every balance lead on the market. So definitely does HP, PQ, uh, Thunder Power, XH, and EH, and then from 1 to... I'm sorry, 2S to 6S, so uh, pretty huge there. Also has a little balancer lead right there, so you can plug it straight into the charger, straight into the board, and then your um, charge or balance lead straight onto the board. Looks like we get a Dean's plug, uh, male Dean's plug, so that's going to be pretty much your only charge lead, um, which, you know, that's pretty much the standard uh, these days for uh, charging. Looks like it comes with a 18 gauge, so that should do pretty good. Next thing here, this is going to be your DC out, so if you're hooking this up to a uh, uh, power supply and or a car battery uh, you would need to have the alligator clips but uh, pretty much that's ready to go 
Last thing is going to be your AC adapter. This is the US version, so it definitely has the US plug right there. It plugs straight into the charger. And let's go ahead and grab this X1 out of here. So it has kind of protected in the plastic right there. And uh, let's go ahead and open this thing up. A lot smaller uh, than I, I thought it was going to be. This thing is uh, has a very small footprint, which is nice. Got a little protective display cover right here. Let's peel that off. Ah, look at that's the best sound on the planet. New electronics right there. So uh, nice touch screen display, pretty large. Uh, I believe it was a 3.2 inch in diagonal. Uh, this is the uh, the air input, uh, so it takes the fresh air in. Side here it looks like you have a temp sensor. PC link, so when you need to update your software of this particular charger, those are your charge leads, balance socket, and then this is your DC input. On the back side here, two pretty huge fans to uh, cool this thing off, uh, you know, get rid of the heat that this thing builds up. There's going to be your AC input, once again, 100 to 240. And then the front here, got some nice vents and whatnot. Underside, this is a cool feature, guys. Uh, has little kick-up tabs right here. So, um, you know, if you're working on a, 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 a station, you can actually prop it up so you can actually see the screen, which is definitely cool. So let me go ahead and get some things plugged in here, and I'm going to get a battery out. We're going to kind of go through the menus. All right, I'm back now, and I went ahead and I got everything plugged in on the high-tech. I'm about ready to plug it in here so you guys can see how it kind of boots up. It has the high-tech logo on there. A nice LED screen. Um, I actually had to dim some of the lights here in the studio to uh, really make the screen pop a little bit more on camera. So uh, that's why it may seem a little bit dimmer in here right now. So, uh, But pretty much a very cool interface on the X1 Touch here, um, you're able to uh, uh, pretty much, um, I have it already set for LiPo right there. Uh, you'll see that I have it set for balance charge. I always balance charge my uh, LiPos no matter what. Uh, I definitely don't uh, uh, do anything different. So um, some of the other operation features, you have voltmeter right there. You have just a basic charge. You have a discharge. You have a storage. And you also have a fast charge. I definitely don't recommend using fast charge, especially if you have enough batteries. Uh, you know, leave the fast charge to uh, someone else. I, I definitely don't recommend that. So um, I'm sure the X1 is definitely capable of doing it. But with LiPos, I just have certain rules that I follow personally, and I just don't fast charge. So we're going to leave it on balance charge. You have, of course, all of your different chemistries on the left there. Down at the bottom, you're able to go ahead and set how many cells you're going to be charging. I have it set right there for a 2S LiPo battery, and you can go all the way up to 6S. Um, next thing here, your MAH. So I already have it set for 6,500 milliamp. Um, and let's see here. Last uh, thing here is going to be the settings. Um, there's all sorts of different settings that you can kind of go through. I have it... Um, set right now on a system settings and what's really cool is you can actually change the color of your screen so um, you can go to blue red that it was set at um, that color whatever color that is I believe it's yellow and then I believe green so pretty cool that you can kind of customize it um, you know you can even if you happen to have two of these you can have one set to one color one to another so pretty cool um, on back here let's see uh, preset which is really cool you're able to set five different um, frequently used batteries uh, and have it already set up so you don't have to go back and set the chemistry um, how many cells it is and the milliamp rating so pretty cool that you can do that um, haven't seen that on a touch screen uh, before so back to the home menu here so um, I already have it set up for this particular max amps battery this is a 6500 um, 2s lipo I'm going to go ahead and plug this thing in, and let's get this thing charging. There we go. Got it hooked up to the Dean's charge lead. And let's see if I can find the XH or HX um, terminal there. There we go on that multi-balance board. And let's go ahead and uh, charge. So right here, pretty much you have the start button. There we go. We're balanced charging. 
looks like uh, right now it's sitting at uh, 8.0 volts. I kind of had this thing in somewhat of a storage mode. Uh, I haven't used it for just a, a few days. has a temperature right there. has um, how long you've been charging, so 19 seconds so far. How many uh, milliamps you're adding to the battery, which is pretty cool. Balance status. Let's take a look at this. There's our our each cell of the battery, which is a really cool graph. Right now they're sitting at 4.02, 4.01, so just um, a 0.01 uh, discrepancy. Looks like it just kind of messed around there. has a graph right there as far as how you are charging, which is really cool. Kind of gives you the little peaks and valleys and everything. And then, uh, of course, the stop button. So let's go ahead and stop that off. There we go. So really cool charger. Um, I can't wait to kind of get this thing up and running and use it a lot more here at the RC Network. I definitely like it. And in the future, I do plan to do a comparison between this X1 Touch and, of course, that Team Orion Advantage Touch Advance uh, that I do have here that I definitely use. So I'm going to do a kind of a comparison between the two and see which one you guys like. So uh, that's it for now, guys. If you have any comments or questions, take a look at the video description. There's going to be a link directly to high tech to take a look at this particular charger. And comments, questions, as always, down below. As always, thumbs up and subscribe. That's it for now, guys. Over and out.